is Jim White, Simon Jordan, Danny Murphy and Tyson Fury. Tyson, good morning. Good morning, Jim. How are you? I'm very well. It's great to hear your voice. Uh, how are you keeping? Are you out running? Are you out training? What are you up to? I've just been running um, and here we are speaking to you right now. Brilliant. Well, I'm alongside your chum, Mr. Simon Jordan. Danny Murphy is with me and I believe you've got something to tell us. So the stage is yours. Go for it, Tyson. No, I just wanted to let everybody know. Everyone keeps asking me about this fight with um, this uh, Ukrainian guy. Um, are you going to fight? Are you going to come back? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? I've made it quite clear that I'm retired from boxing. I'm very happy doing that. However, I will come back, but it has to be for an obscene amount of money. Because, let's face it, it's not Anthony Joshua, which will have done the fight for free in England. It's some foreigner who no one really cares of. And that's it. I don't mind chucking the dog a bone. I don't want to chuck in the full fucking dog zone. Listen, if they want me to fight this unknown quantity and give him an opportunity of legendary status and trying to beat me, then they've got to pay for that. And what I've got to say is they've got a week. It's August the 24th today. But they've Tyson, you're a big boy their and, and they're big boys they've and the money's going to sort itself out. One week. One week. Yeah, I know. I, I, I love all these ultimatums, Tyson. Lawyer, but let's assume, let's it, assume you're going to get the money. With proof of funds, okay? Yeah. I don't want no dodgy offers. I, I know. In writing, proof but, of funds to but my you've sponsor. worked with Frank and you've worked with Bob, so you know the people that you're working with, right? So there's a distinct possibility you're going to get the money that you want. So let's move on well, from the money it, side of things. Because you're it, not all it, about the money, Tyson. You've told us that yourself. You're about the fight game. Yeah, it, I, so with no, that no, in no, mind... No, no, no. Hold, hold on a minute, Simon. Go on. This fight is purely about money. I'm happily retired. I don't need money. I've got plenty of money. That's one thing. Well, then right? what's the point? If it's not about money, why is it about money? i tell you why. Because if they want the big gypsy king to fight, they've got to pay obscene amount of money. It's the biggest fight in the world. And it needs to be the biggest payday in the world. However, Mayweather got $400 million for Pacquiao. I want 500 million for Usyk. There we go. So okay. you're, say, you're saying to us this morning, Tyson, you want 500 million pounds yeah. to fight yeah. to fight Alexander Usyk. <laughs> yeah, no problem. But, I know they've got the money. They've offered Tiger Woods a billion pounds before. Tyson, we, so one, they, we, they, one they, thing they we do know about you, though, mate, is you're a consummate professional. You, got, you always get yourself into great shape for fights. This surely is a fight that you want to take on. You want to fight Usyk, I presume. I have no real interest in Usyk. Some man that no one can even say his name. A pumped-up middleweight. He just beat AJ. It ain't my fault that he's gone and batted AJ, some bodybuilder. You know, it ain't my fault that that's happened twice in a row. There's no to do with me. However... There's only ever been one Dauntless in these waters, and that's me. There only ever has been me, all along. They try to compete, but when they compete, they get beat at the highest level. And that just shows you, there's no disrespect to Joshua, because he's a, he's a, 25, he's a 25 and 3 fighter, or 20, whatever he is. Mm. But at top-level world-class boxing, he just can't cook it. Yeah, but Tyson, yeah, Tyson uh, Usyk uh, wants to fight you. If you don't take him on... People will say, well, Tyson Fury's running scared of Usyk. Yeah, I don't mind. They can say what they want. People can say what they want. This fight is purely about business. It's about nothing else. And if they want to see this fight happen, then it, they've got to pay for it. And I'm not talking to the general public. because hey, It's not up to them to put that money up. Yeah. It's not up to Frank Warren. It's up for some big people. In, they want to put a big site fee up, put this fight on in their country. The biggest undisputed title fight in 30 years since Lewis fought whoever. So, you know, it's... it's um, but Tyson, let me ask it. you a question, right? Because I've just had a whole set to a Tony Bellew that tells me that I fancy you because I'm such a huge admirer of yours and a big champion of yours. Generationally, I think you're the best fighter. You know, you've beaten Deontay Wilder, you've beaten Dillian White, which I don't mean to be disrespectful, wasn't much of a fight, Tyson, because you made it not much of a fight because Dillian White wasn't at that level. But in order for you to go away generationally as the best fighter, surely you've got to go and clean Usyk's clock. No, because there's all, all, he's a newcomer to this, to this division. He's had four fights in the heavyweight division, OK? So it's all right Eddie Earn and whoever else saying, oh, Joshua didn't fight any Sepa Seperis or he didn't fight any Pianettas. Well, he didn't fight any Deontay Wilders either, did he? He didn't have a trilogy with all the, uh, the bronze bollocks. 
Yeah, but he's he stepped up. It's like Evander Holyfield stepping yeah. up to heavyweight and dealing with um, Riddick, uh, dealing with Riddick Bowe and whoever he dealt with. This is the guy that people are now saying is the pound for pound best fighter in the world, right? The money I side of things. I understand why you're doing it, Tyson, it. because the Saudis oh, are running around throwing money like it's being printed by them. But there is also a fight here that people. I want to see you fight the fella because I believe that generationally you're the best heavyweight around and I've been saying it for years. You believe it yourself. I want to see you I think this out. is a fight that you should be taking and the money will take care of itself. However, there used to be a three-headed monster in the heavyweight division. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. For such a long time, there was me, AJ and Wilder. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. AJ and Wilder have been laid waste to. True. So therefore, the three-headed dog is now involved in it. Never. Tony AJ gave him the chance to be involved in it. That's his problem, not mine. I haven't got to live with, oh, a middleweight set about me. I haven't got to live with that. Because no middleweight born from his mother can say about the Gypsy King. I don't care who he is. And all this talk of, oh, he's the pound for pound great. Pound for pound, my opinion is a load of bullshit. There's no such thing as if everybody was the same size, because mm. that's not real. So pound for pound, bollocks. Yeah, we How know that, but he's not a middleweight, is he? How? Come on, Tyson, How he's not a middleweight. Man, I'll tell you, let me explain myself, because I'm quite good at it, actually. Go on, then. Quite articulate at the matter. I know you are. So let, let me explain this to you. When Usek was amateur boxing, sucking his mother's nipples, I was a British heavyweight champion. And he was boxing at 75 kilo as an amateur. 75 kgs, not 120. This is why I call him a middleweight. He got stopped by Russian Korobov as a middleweight. Well, as a full set man, not as a child, 10 year old, as a full set man in his 20s. So it's easy he work then? Middleweight. So it's easy work? This is what I'm saying. Listen, I've never said it wasn't going to be easy work. All this pound for pound legendary thing, because I don't rate him. Fine, but we're talking about you, Tyson. Tyson, let, let, let's give you let's give you a scenario here. A lot of people. Tyson, a lot of people are reacting to the fact you're on the show with Simon and myself and Danny, and we're thrilled that you're on with us live this morning. But you have to think Saudi Arabia will be in the equation. You have to think there'll be enormous it's money. No. It's not just Saudi Arabia in this running. Let me put that to you. All right. Fine. So the, this huge this Arabia. huge money, you'll get very close to what you want if not what you want. And then it's game on, isn't it? Guitar! Well, then, then it's game on, isn't it, Tyson? 100%. And then I'm going to owe Pierce Morgan a million pounds in pound coins. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson, if you get the 500 million, would that not give... I mean, yeah. Maybe maybe sounds a bit flippant, but would you not then become a little bit complacent maybe with the fight because you got that... Fun, you know the 500 million's coming in. I know you're wealthy anyway, but would that not... Will you still train us? Would he still have the same incentive? Let me tell you, I could beat Usek on a week's training because he's the middleweight. I put my fist right through him. Fine, Tyson, but listen, all this fanny about how much money it's worth, you're going to get the money. So nobody wants to hear yeah. all that, Tyson, so because let, people put you on a, pl me, on a platform of being a heavyweight however, champion in the world. Well, no one's interested in bankrolling you. We're know. interested in the best fighter beating somebody. And all this nonsense yeah. about how much money, you're going to get hundreds of millions. We both know it, right? So this is about you fighting Usyk, not all this nonsense about get on and whatever else. Do you want to fight this fellow or not? Let me tell you, if the money's on the table, I'll fight Usyk and 50 men like him. And I'll lay waste to every one of them. So when Frank That's came why. on yesterday and said the game's afoot, the game's afoot then, yeah? Well, let me tell you, if they come up with the money, they've got a week too. If they come up with it, they come up with it. And if they don't, they don't. Simple as. So you've set, them a, you you set them a deadline of a week, Tyson. They've got seven days to produce. Let me just tell you this. This Alex Hoos guy, yeah, he needs the legendary Gypsy King. I do not need some foreigner. I don't need him. I've done what I've done. I'm a legend in the game. Undefeated world heavyweight champion, retired like Rocky Marciano. This idiot needs me, some foreigner who no one can say his name. It, let me tell you another thing. Me giving him a fight is me giving him an opportunity in becoming a legend. Agreed. Like McGregor, Agreed. Did, like McGregor did with Khabib. Nobody knew the fuck Khabib was until he fought McGregor. Language, Tyson. Sudden, language. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the language. Nobody knew who these guys were. 
until they fight the legend in the game. So I'm, I don't mind chucking him a bone, this middleweight, but I'm not going to chuck him the full dog zone. And no that's way. fine. But let's want, assume, want, Tyson, like, stop with the seven-day deadlines because if, he gets, if you get offered the money on the ninth day, you're still going to take it. But the spirit is there. No, You'll take this fight if they get the I money right, right? Yep, 100%. Good. Yeah. I take it, Tyson, uh, I mean, we, we've got to know you well and you know your craft inside out. And you're a good man. Presumably, you respect Usyk, right? I don't. I don't respect him. I don't think he's a great fighter. I think he's a struggling fighter. And I've seen more excitement in Morecambe on a Friday night than I did. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised if you're hanging about there. Yeah. But what did you make? Of, what did you take away from the Joshua Usyk fight, Tyson? I didn't. I didn't take anything from it. Without being disrespectful to Joshua, he he, he was what he was. He found his level. Yeah. And he's he's come up wanting at top level. He's lost three of his last five fights. So clearly, he's come up wanting at high level. But I didn't think it was a. I didn't think Usyk landed a worthwhile punch in 12 rounds. Tip tap bullshit. He couldn't knock the skin off a rice pudding. <laughs> uh, uh, Tyson, briefly, he had just tough, as. He we... had a tough ball fight with Chisora. He had a tough ball fight with the other idiot, Tim Witherspoon's <laughs> Whoever he was. Um, but you, but you are a bag really of contradictions, you are, because a couple of weeks ago you gave him bloody Derek Chisora a fight for two and six. Make your mind up. I did. I, I offered Chisora £2 million, and his management said, no, we won't free. I know that, but then it isn't about up. money, then, is it? So get on with fighting Usyk. So, so Tyson, we, we are so grateful. I mean, I'm looking at the messages coming in. The whole country is buzzing that you've chosen to join myself and Simon and Danny this morning. Let's just get to it. You, you've got a deadline of seven days, but if you get the money you want, and we're talking something like 500 million or something ridiculous like that, but if it, in your eyes that's not ridiculous, then you will fight Usyk. When? The night before the World Cup final in Saudi on the 17th of December? Is that what we're talking about? I'll fight him in his front garden in Ukraine. I don't give one fuck about it. Uh, Tyson, it. language. Need to watch the language, I'll Tyson. I'll lay waste to it. Sorry, guys. Apologies. I'll lay waste to the guy in his front garden. I don't care. Doesn't yeah. matter where or when. It's an easy fight. I'm not going to build this up like, oh, my God, I'm fighting an all-time pound-for-pound cruiserweight middle I'm asking you to. Okay. If it's any consolation, Tyson. Big, Tyson, before you go, Tyson, before you go, give me a comment about... AJ's legacy is as you see it. <laughs> I see it as it's in tatters at the moment. Tatters. Oh. And just another another quick thing before I go off this. It's not about boxing. Um, I just had a cousin murdered last yeah. week with knife crime. Knife crime. The most cowardly little shit house thing anybody can do. Agreed. Somebody. Agreed. Um, the government, the United Kingdom, we're supposed to be one of the safest countries in the world. Well, yet we can't go down the street with a watch on or anything because we're going to get stabbed. Agreed. The government needs to make this tougher on these little cowards who carry knives and weapons. Yeah, so yeah. Keep, keep your well, language keep well your said, language in order, Tyson, but give us a message yeah, about yeah. that before you go. What is your message? Keep your language what, in what, order. What, uh, yeah, 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 my language is in order. What these government needs to do about this knife crime, anyone caught with a knife or stabbing someone needs castrating. It's too good of it. It cost us, the government, too much money to house them in a prison. It cost them 50, 60 grand a year to put these scumbags in jail. Castrate the little bastard. Sorry, swore. OK. Listen, Tyson. Um, castrate them. Yeah. Toughen them up. Make it five to seven years even for carrying a knife. What else scumbag coward needs to carry a knife around with them in our country? I agree, Tyson. I agree. I Tyson, I can't, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for joining us. Is it, what is it about you in talk sport? You love this station, don't you? I absolutely love it because people talk real. And as for, uh, here's another thing. I see Bellew the other day giving uh, Simon <laughs> a load of shit. Yeah. Because he's, uh, his mate's been battered yeah. uh, three times out of his last five fights. Simon speaks the truth. There you and go. People don't like it. If they don't like it, they can't handle the truth. And not a lot of people can but the man speaks the truth. Oh. The truth and nothing but the truth. I'm sure if I had a shit fight, Simon would be man enough to say that was a shit fight. <laughs> Tyson, Tyson, stop thank complimenting you. him, please. Leave thank his head's getting bigger as the seconds go. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Tyson Fury with us. Uh, we do apologise for <laughs> um, uh, Tyson's language uh, bleep, bleep, here and bleep, there bleep, during bleep, that exchange. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Most but, but you have to remember, when Tyson Fury comes on live, anything can happen. And anything just did. He's prepared to fight Usyk, but he wants 500 million for it.
but he'd do it. That's the bottom line. He'd do it. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.